such is the life of an ordinary star, born in a gas cloud, maturing as a yellow sun, decaying as a red giant, and dying as a white dwarf enveloped in its shroud of gas. Suppose, as we traveled through interstellar space in our ship of the imagination, we could sample the cold, thin gas between the stars. We would find a great preponderance of hydrogen, an element as old as the universe. We would find carbon, oxygen, silicon. The most abundant atoms in the cosmos, apart from hydrogen, are those most easily made in the stars. But we would also find a small proportion of rare elements, praseodymium, say, or gold. They are not made in red giants. Such elements are manufactured in one of the most dramatic gestures of which a star... A star more than about one and a half times the mass of the sun cannot be a white dwarf. It may end its life by blowing itself up in a titanic stellar explosion called a supernova. There has been no supernova explosion in our province of the galaxy since the invention of the telescope, and our sun will not become a supernova. But in our imagination, we can fulfill the dream of many Earth-bound astronomers and safely witness, close up, a supernova explosion. Most of stellar evolution takes millions or billions of years, but the interior collapse that triggers a supernova explosion takes only seconds. Suddenly, the star becomes brighter than all the other stars in the galaxy put together. If a nearby star became a supernova, it would be calamity enough for the inhabitants of this alien system. But if their own sun went supernova, it would be an unprecedented catastrophe. Worlds would be charred and vaporized. Life, even on the outer planets, would be extinguished. In our ship of the imagination, we are now backing away from the star. But the explosion fragments, traveling almost at the speed of light, are overtaking us. Individual atomic nuclei, accelerated to high speeds in the explosion, become cosmic rays. This is another way that stars return the atoms they've synthesized back into space. The shockwave of expanding gases eats and compresses the interstellar gas, triggering a later generation of stars to form. In this sense also, stars are phoenixes rising from their own ashes.